When working with a capstan hoist, always ensure that you have a safety plan and rigging plan. Always don the proper PPE, utilizing gloves, safety sunglasses, and hard hat. When selecting a capstan hoist, ensure it can handle the intended load. Always read the manufacturer's manual and create a rigging plan to ensure the safety of you and your surroundings. Always be sure that the site has proper warning signage. When using capstan hoist, always remember to utilize the manufacturer's recommendation for anchor points. If fasteners are damaged or missing, replace them with the same type of grade designated by the manufacturer. It's important to make sure to position the hoist so that the operator is not under the load and always in clear line of sight of the load. When mounting to something solid such as a pole, tower, or other structure, most objects are stronger in compression than tension or bending. If you have a choice, use the item in compression. For example, mount the bracket so the load pulls the bracket against instead of away from the pole. This puts less tension on the clamps. It's also better to pull in the direction that is in line with the pole rather than the direction that will try to turn the hoist and bracket around the pole. For a hitch mount, read the manufacturer's guidelines and instructions to ensure that the towing hitch corresponds with the ratings of the capstan hoist for which it is intended. When utilizing a capstan hoist, you want to perform a function test to make sure that all the functions of the cat head are working properly. If the hoist or parts are damaged or does not function properly, then do not use them and return them to the manufacturer for repairs. It's important to never use a malfunctioning capstan hoist. Always check manufacturer's guidelines for maintenance, procedures, and never operate a hoist without a foot pedal. Also, never let anyone leave the controls and always have clear communication and signals. It's important to train for proper use of the caps and hoist before allowing hoisting of any and all materials. Use a minimum of three to four wraps on a capstan drum. Never add or remove rope wraps while the load is suspended. Use the same number of turns to lower and raise a load. The final determination is made by the feel. Feel is the amount of force required to maintain control of the hoist. With the right number of wraps and the approximate amount of 20 pounds of force, you can maintain control for raising and lowering your load. Adding wraps decreases the amount of pull required to control the load. Removing wraps increases the amount of pull required. Always use the capstan hoist to the manufacturer's specification.